morning Fraser 641 in the morning waiting for Kelly Kelly should be here in about two minutes um, we are off on our road trip me Kelly and Rich uh, going off to uh, to the island to uh, pick up some kitchen cabinets for the kitchen in the church there so it's cold and frosty outside frosty frosty <laughs> Lock. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get going and see what we find. All right, Fraze, we are, uh, we're on the ferry. There's me, there's Kelly, and there's Rich. Hey, Fraser, how's it going? There you go, there you go. Hey. And we're, uh, we're going for the road trip, man. All right, we are in Courtney. <laughs> we're already off the ferry, we're in Courtney. <clears throat> and we're uh, we're whining about the gas prices because our gas prices in in uh, Powell River are 177 a liter, and here's what would you say it was 162? 162. 162 here, so yeah. I will be getting gas today. <laughs> I usually have gas all the time. You know that phrase. <laughs> right, so. I had gas yesterday. <laughs> hmm. I assume every time you're smiling, you have gas. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Every time I eat bologna. So we're in Home Depot. Already got the uh, the cabinets that I'm looking for, which is awesome. I got the aluminum tubing that I was looking for all over the place uh, in Powell, but nobody had it. You found it? I found the aluminum tubing. Perfect. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And now I'm going to look for a water filtration system for uh, Cham and Chaz, because we got them a, a water cooler, but you know we want to get the uh, the filtration system first so gonna look for that now so i was standing literally with my back to this looking at this wall thinking where where could it be where could it be kelly says uh what's that right behind you <laughs> kelly's always one to offer those kinds of you know admonishments or uh, advice what have you but that's what we're grabbing here we are again sitting here kelly and i diligently waiting for rich yeah, right. Rich is slow. He's got those little legs, you know, so he's a little slower to... Way to catch up. down yeah. there. Look at how fast those little... No, I'm not saying that. I don't <laughs> you coming? Edit, edit. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Well, I've only got 3,800 steps. 3,800 steps. We're going to have to get more than that. I know, that's I'm why I'm probably 70 away. So we're, we're hitting all the stores that we just can't you know until we come over here so now we're heading into the superstore i'm bad for these kind of big box stores right love them we 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 hit kms and i apologize kms is a tool shop and i apologize that i didn't get any video there but i was so shocked and flabbergasted <laughs> gobsmacked you name it that I didn't take any video. I forgot I had the video, the camera in my pocket because it was like the first time ever walking into a Costco. It was just like, there was stuff everywhere. There was tools everywhere. I did really well. I only bought like a thousand bucks worth of stuff. <laughs> Don't tell Allie. It's coming next week. Shh. For what? For what? Right. Rich and Kelly are arguing. Don't confuse me with the facts? I, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I feel, like, I feel like the kid who's in the back seat while the parents are arguing. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the right place, then. <laughs> going right? Uh, yeah, we're going to take a right. Shouldn't, I don't think, you never used to be able to turn left here, but it looks like you can now. Yeah, true. Oh, if you can turn left, turn left. If it'll let you. I don't know. There's no, there's no, there's no sign saying you can't. Nope. But I, I would say left is probably your best bet. Left here? Okay. Yeah. These guys are, yeah. Superstore in the Nile. Man, it's built up a lot of here. There's, there's no light here, that's why. <laughs> uh, yeah. There is that. Nice new, you know, big apartment yeah. building. And... You got your, you. You your 50% 50 50 chance. Look at all this craziness around Mary here. Mary Brown's man. chicken, I haven't heard that. Costco. The ultimate store for shopping for Powell River Rice. Costco. It is stupid crazy here, man. We had to park way oh. back there, way at the back. Friday. Oh, is that it? It's Friday. Friday. There you go. It's because during the war... Um, We're going to get in so much trouble. ...family that makes this, they were the ones that... Oh, I heard it. 
I will videotape us walking so that we're all completely, you know, safe and secure. We all get knocked down. Yep. Costco in Nanaimo is absolutely horrific compared to Costco Courtney. Just oh, saying. Big time. Here's a Tesla. That doesn't have the go one doors, no. Seriously, I, I, I literally had to walk outside because I was like, A, I was getting hot and I was getting, you know, like, I had to just get some fresh air. So I had to leave the boys. I should have done it like two minutes earlier and then they would have had to pay my bill, but he, I didn't. He left so. us all by herself. <laughs> yeah. He Rich. deserted us. <laughs> <laughs> I did so, and I'll do it again. <laughs> On a three hour tour. <laughs> <clears throat> taking our chances we think uh, we think there's a slim possibility we might be able to get uh, the 325 ferry it's uh, 2.30 now we're just leave well we're actually we're just leaving the news so it's possible but it's gonna be tight so <clears throat> I do not endorse Kelly driving like an absolute maniac but if he does drive like a complete maniac and we get there I'm gonna give him a pat on the back I'm just saying but I am NOT endorsing that be kind of behavior because I'm all about safety. I'm Mr. Safety. You know that, right? I can hear the laughing from here, from on the camera. I can oh. already hear laughing. I still want to drive safe, just fast. Yeah. See, he wants to drive safe, just fast. I'm good with that. <coughs> and I will not. I will not put the camera on the speedometer. I am going to assume that he is constantly going at a reasonable um, required speed. So, you know. Okay. Yeah, but we're in a 50 zone. <laughs> it even just shows me on the dash what the speed limit is. <laughs> yeah, it's called the speedometer. What the hell do you even bother driving? Oh, truck? you mean like it tells you what the speed is supposed to be on the. the I see, I see, I see, I see. All right. So I did, uh, we stopped it. That's always good. So I stopped at the, uh, the Christian bookstore in the Nile, and I picked up a, a new Bible because although I'm putting, I'm going to be putting stickers on it. Don't get me wrong, but it's uh, thirty some odd years old. It is falling apart. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit used, you know. But it's you know it's 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 got a ton of my stuff in it from years gone by. So, but I wanted uh, I wanted something that I could kind of start a little bit fresh with and, and uh, go. So, so I picked that up. All right, recent update. Uh, we do not think now that we're going to make the ferry. Uh, latest estimation on this fancy schmancy vehicle that Kelly owns says that we're going to be a half an hour late so we're my calculations carry the two divided by we're gonna to have to double our speed in order to get there by uh by 3 30 so i'm not sure that's going to happen oh rich thinks it's on newfoundland time is it on newfoundland time kelly no nope. that's what time it was you know the there Fair enough. Newfoundland will be a half hour late, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see the sir. Well, we're back in Courtney. Time says 3.08. And it still says it's going to take us 47 minutes to get from where we are, which is just basically, I don't know, down by Walmart kind of thing to the uh, Little River Ferry Terminal. I think that's insane. I think that's crazy, and you I think it's wrong. That long to get from the to no, exactly, right? So so unless traffic is at an absolute standstill, and it knows this somehow. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I never even thought of this, Rich. Or, sorry, Kelly. Oh. Um, when you bought this vehicle, you bought it over here? Or did you buy it in Powell? You bought in Powell? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this truck's on Powell River time. So this truck's not used to going any speed whatsoever. Right. So yeah, everything's slower over there. Yeah. It's it's kind of like island time on steroids, you know? Super slow.
turn the camera that way, do you get sick? I would. faster when they're in the oncoming lane, like in, in the closest lane. They're not that fast. We missed the ferry. The machine was wrong on its time, was way off. Oh yeah. Way off. Half hour off. But you know, we we still missed the ferry. Yeah, we, probably we by a minute and a half to two minutes. I thought there about was... trying to pass that truck on the hill coming down. I thought, no, I better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> that big truck there. Yeah, ah, it's all good. It's all good. I am positive I saw a guy, you know, walking on as we were still there, and then they yeah. pulled up the ramp and stuff, but that's okay. We're going to go back into town, and we're going to, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. You haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it regular butter or double butter, Elijah? Like uh, the main reason I come here to Courtney is popcorn. See? <laughs> I love my popcorn. Two ferries, drive around the island all day. And this is regular amount of butter, just saying. The idea is to make it quicker, you just drink, and then you eat, and then you drink, and then you eat. <laughs> we are hitting every store that Allie hates me going to. <laughs> Medland Tools. Love Midland Tools. First, what, chocolate, hazelnut dip. <laughs> Make it feel so good. Yeah. Six dollars. <laughs> so we missed the ferry, as we knew. And uh, yeah, just sitting down and having some chow. Eating again. Eating again. That's what you do on road trips, right? That's what you do on road trips. You eat. You eat. You eat and laugh. Yep, exactly. All right. Okay, so it is. We've learned our lesson. 1827. 1827. 626. Yep. yep. And we are back at the ferry terminal. The ferry uh, should be loading in a... Well, it's not here yet, but it should be back any minute, <clears throat> unless it's late. Wouldn't that be a kick in the teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to be loading up and uh, heading back on the 7 o'clock boat. 7.30, yeah. Yep. Be back by about 8.30 or so. Or 9. Yeah. It's around 8.30, I pick up the kids. Yep. Sometimes. Yeah, I pick them. I'll show you that. Welcome aboard the Salish Orca. <laughs> Thank you for sailing with BC Ferries. This is a very safe trip and a very safe boat. All of our passengers scream if there's anything wrong. Yeah, so we're here, man. We're, uh, we're back on the boat. We're just kind of hanging out. Rich is doing some reading. Kelly's doing playing, some uh, playing games, <laughs> mental acuity uh, games, which is good. I like those games; those are fun. Other than that, we're just kind of hanging out, man. We're just waiting. I've been uh, I've been actually doing some editing while we've been sitting here, uh, ignoring these guys, showing these guys a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of stuff on the on the um, software and stuff that I use. Editing all our serious talks we had. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been. I've been. You know, it really wasn't. It was a good trip. It was good. You know, I got to say, I was a little bit nervous coming with these two. You know, <laughs> but uh, the, the worst part about the whole trip, uh, I mean, I thought I behaved myself well, but the worst part, Rich kept making tall jokes all the time. All the time he was making tall <laughs> jokes, and it just gets so old. You know, so quickly. It got so short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a short temper. <laughs> uh, so what did we do, man? We uh, we we headed across. We're not in jail. Was that? We're not in jail. We're not, we're not in jail. So you know, Kelly we did get a speeding ticket. <laughs> we could have. We could have. We could have. We didn't. Yeah. We could have. But uh, yeah, no, it was it was it was a good trip down. Uh, we ripped down all the way to the night. Well, we, to be fair, I stopped in Fabricland in Courtney first. I had these guys stop. If we hadn't stopped in Fabricland, 
We probably would have made the ferry back. I'm just saying. But we stopped at Fabricland at first on the way down, and uh, I picked up some thread, and I actually picked up some material as well. (laughs) Everything's always my fault. And then that's uh, only because Guy's not here. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. It's it's a known fact. If Guy has anything to do with it, it's Guy's fault, right? So that's just the way it is. And we headed all the way down to the uh, to the Christian bookstore down in Imo because that was the furthest place we were going. Um, and then we were only there for a couple minutes and then ripped back up to the KMS. But again, I was just so astonished walking into that place and seeing so many tools. That was cool. Yeah, it is cool, man. Like, there's just stuff everywhere and, and some big things. And it's a candy store. It's a candy store for tools. It was, uh, I didn't see a lot of grinders. Which was really weird. I don't know. But, you know, there was some, there was some, there was some, some 900 pounds. <laughs> The one you wanted to pick up, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Well, that's a bench grinder. That's not the same thing, right? Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, I meant like like hand grinders, like you know, like something they're all, like. They're like thirty-nine ninety-nine hands. for goodness. Ah, yeah. oh, I didn't see them. Oh, well, that's right. Again, I was just. Battery operated. Next I was time. in. I was in shock. Next time. Next time we go down. But you know, uh, then from there we hit. Uh, well, we hit another red light, and then another, <laughs> and then another red light, and then we went. Some well, Kelly didn't trust me. Right, so we're going to we're going to Home Depot, and he and he says, you know, like I'm saying, okay, yeah, how do you get how do I get there from here? I said, okay, take a right, okay, take a left, get way over to that lane, take a left. Hey, you want to get in the left hand lane here, Kelly, because not this light, but the next light, we're gonna want to turn left. And he's he's going through, he's going through the second lane. I'm like, no, 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 Kelly, right, like left left here. No, 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 it's not this one. No, no, it's it's left right here. No, 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 it's the next one. No, it's okay, sure it is, Kelly. So we go all the way to Alds Road, right? And I'm like, you know, we could have gone back there. Oh, oh, oh. I, this is just the way I go. <laughs> this is the way I know. <laughs> the way he knows. But he doesn't trust me at all. So he actually made me second guess the guy in Home Depot when we're getting the cabinets and stuff. I'm pulling down four cabinet doors. And these guys are both saying, no, no, no. I was going to say, I, he wasn't the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These two are saying, no, 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 we only need two, we only need two. And the guy said, yeah, yeah, you only need two, you only need two. You were just well, a bench ahead of us. I, I know that I'm getting two cabinets, right? So that's why I'm continuing to grab four. And then I was a little bit chagrined because, you know, they were the wrong doors. Two of them, the <laughs> two of them were the right doors, but two of them were the wrong doors. <laughs> uh, so that was that was okay. Uh, we got that stuff. I got the other stuff that I wanted to get. Um, and then from there we went to Costco. Oh man, no, we went, hit Superstore first, and then we went to Costco. Man. Costco was a gong show, oh. just an absolute gong show, man. Like it, it was, I, 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 I literally, I was, I was, I wasn't sure I was going to last as long as I did. Um, and, and to be fair, Kelly got us in crap. Like within two minutes of being inside the store, we're following him, and then he cuts through the, you know, where they're doing the cash. Is this guy? Why he picks me out? I don't know. He's like, hey, don't come through here don't again. Come through. Oh, don't come through. Don't come through the checkout. Okay, sorry about that, sir. I didn't really mean. Kelly's long ahead. He's like, what that guy say? I said, I don't know. You know, it's just he's yelling at me. It doesn't matter. So, and then we, we, because we were going to go to the food court. Well, that didn't work out well. There was 700, 800 people. Oh, it was 711. 711 people. Did you do that on purpose? 711? <laughs> yes. <laughs> At the food court. And so we were like, no, I, I can't, like, we can't, I can't do this. So we decide we're going to go shopping first and we, we go in through and now we cut through. Now I'm going first and I cut through a, a line and I'm like, yep, made one mistake. I'm just making another. And then was it you or was it Kelly? I asked. Kelly I asked, asked lady. Kelly asked, asked the lady, "Is it okay if we go through here?" She's like, "Yeah." Of course, no It was like, "Don't be so dumb and ask that kind of a question." No, really. So I was just like, "Okay, whatever." But man, yeah, it was it was brutal. Kelly yeah. made me carry a, a hundred pound bag of dog food all over the store. No, only through half of it. Oh yeah, half of it. Sorry. You had to cross half the store. And it wasn't a hundred pounds. It was the same size as Rich. So. 70, no, pounds. 70 at best. <laughs> That's a short joke. No, it was not. It was a it was a mass joke. It, it was it, mass. It yeah. wasn't a tall one. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was not a it was not a tall story. It was not. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. Hey, I can go back to Nova Scotia and get this from the fire department. Uh, yeah, so but then, this one's free. That's right. Yeah, you don't yeah, have to pay. Me down you don't have to pay for the trip here, right? <laughs> so we were gonna yeah. we were heading out of Costco, and Kelly or yeah, Kelly wanted to go and, and grab some chow, so we were gonna head into Ricky's, and then the discussion comes up. It's like, ooh, we're really close to time. We're really close to time. We could possibly do this. So then we went to, uh, we decided to go to Subway, which took 
we that was where it took way longer where than the it should time have. went yeah, yeah. um but you couldn't know hear the guy. <laughs> we, yeah we couldn't hear the guy he couldn't hear us it was just it was a gong show and you know rich had to order 48 sandwiches to go with footlongs i don't know he was just he was hungry you know he's he's I'm he's still a, full He's a he's a very efficient motor. <coughs> he just needs lots and lots of fuel, right? So, um, I walk close to the ground. There you go. So I very purposely did not look at the speedometer. Just sat in the back, set my head down. I'm not paying attention. And we are so close, dude. We pull up, and it's like, yeah, it's still it there. It was right. We're one good. Time. It was three twenty-five. Yep. There was but, still a guy walking on the boat. Yeah, but technically, they they shut the uh, they shut the entries down. Uh, five minutes before sailings, right? So, and he he had no. He actually ducked his head at one point. We we were like, come on, man! Like you know, please come on, man! And and he was like, he just kind of put his head down like he was thinking, but I think he was just wasting time for them to pull up the ramp. And then he said, see you later, boys. If we had <laughs> had a beer and a pizza, he'd been fine. He said there is no hope. Yeah. 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 There was no way. He was shaking his head when we were driving up. So. So anyway, we went and uh, tried to find. Uh, well, we went to the Griffin Pub in, in Comox there. That was way too busy. Then we went to the Blackfin Pub in Comox, and that was way too busy. Oh, before that, though, we went and got my popcorn. And, uh, yeah. Then went to try and find a place to eat. We wound up settling at Smitty's, which was decent there. You know, it actually was it was a good I had a chicken burger. It was really mm-hmm. quite good. So. We all had a chicken we all burger. Did a chicken. Oh, yeah, we did all have <laughs> a chicken burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was all good. I had mine in a lettuce <laughs> wrap, though, you know. Way, way higher class than, you know, just in a bun. Yeah, but that's just who we were. (laughs) (laughs) So all in all, it was a good day. We got back on the ferry now for the the last sailing coming back over. Uh, What time is it? It's like 20 to 8. We've been on the ferry for, you know, 20 minutes-ish kind of thing. Yep. And we haven't left anybody behind. Second car to go down in the hole. We were the second car to go down in the hole. So yeah, there's there's an underbelly. (coughs) There's an underbelly of the the ferry. And uh, if you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time of the day, then you go down under. Right. It's like so a red light. It's kind of like a red light. Dude, when we went to go, I'm not kidding you, we went to go to the movie theater, and he wanted to go, Kelly wanted to go to uh, to Powell River first, or Powell River, Windsor Plywood first. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you go up this road, and we and in, in going up the road where I'm directing him, we're going up 20, 20, 26th? I think it's 26th Street, and then taking a left on, I can't remember the name of the, the road anymore, Guthrie, I think, to go down to Windsor Plywood. We're actually passing by the, the theater that that I wanted to go to to get to the to the movie theater popcorn, um, so like he knew exactly where it was. It's a it's a big mall parking lot. There's an access from the back road, the whole nine yards, right? So we go down to Windsor Plywood and we chat there. And I worked at Windsor Plywood a thousand years ago, so so it was kind of nice chatting with the guy there. And he knew some of the guys that I used to know and stuff. Uh, he was gone long. I was long gone by the time he got there. But so anyway, we come out of Windsor Plywood. We go back to go to the movie theater, and he passes right by the uh, the entrance again. Okay. On the back side, going into the movie theater, and uh, you know, Rich very casually says, uh, "Isn't that uh, isn't, isn't that, that the movie? Theater? Isn't that the theater there?" I said, "Yeah, yeah." But <laughs> Kelly just wants to go around to the front, and Kelly Again. says the same thing, right? So we we drive around to the front of the mall entrance, and we go into the the mall entrance there, and he needs to take another right hand turn to go into the theater. Nope, straight on past. I'm like Kelly, you know that that's it right there right and he's like oh yeah yeah i know and he just keeps driving drives about halfway down the mall and he's driving all the way down to uh, canadian tire then he's like can we get around to the back side i said i don't think so i think we can i don't think so i don't think we can and then he went he winds up turning around anyway so then he turns around we're still going back along the front of the of the mall (laughs) and we're going we're heading towards the theater now this time at least surely he knows where it's at right yeah he's driving i'm like kelly seriously dude take a left man and we almost hit the curb on the opposite side of the road not missing the uh, missing the uh, theater so thank god nobody was following us <laughs> i was waiting for us to get stopped i really was <laughs> anyway we first uh, question would have been are you guys from Powell river <laughs> which is worse no, than drunk driving really. are you drinking <laughs> yeah there you go listen so anyway we wound up getting in there and getting the, the popcorn stuff and then uh ripped back to the uh to get something to eat and then back here to the ferry so we're here and uh it's dark outside so there's really nothing to show you there's no party going on there's no dance floor so i could do it i could do a ferry dance is there a sailor shortcut dance i could do that now maybe next time there probably we'll is but uh <laughs> i haven't seen it yet uh anyway uh yeah we're on our way home they covered the- all right, dude. So today I want to read to you out of uh, still the book of Matthew. This will be chapter 26, 
and it'll be verses 6 to 13. While Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, whatever this gospel truly I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. At this point the disciples still really didn't have a clue that Jesus was going to die. They still believed that he was the Messiah, that he was still going to be some great military leader, and that somehow the Romans were going to be overthrown or what have you. But they truly didn't appreciate, I don't think, the fact that Jesus had to die on the cross in order to fulfill what needed to be fulfilled. Jesus knew he was going, he was dying. Jesus knew well exactly what was going to happen to him. This is not a situation where it's a guy who's like, oh, I'm going to start this religion and I'm going to make a lot of money. No. He knew he was going to an absolutely horrific, horrific death. And he did it anyway. And again, he did it willingly. And he did it willingly for you. And he did it willingly for me. The gift of his death on the cross, the blood being shed and covering us from our sins, and his resurrection being seated at the right hand of God. All of that is available to anybody. All who call in the name of the Lord will be saved. It's not exclusive. The only exclusivity is the fact that you have to you have to acknowledge Jesus as Lord. Just like the centurion did when he wanted the, his servant healed. He acknowledged, he acknowledged Christ as the Lord. That's what's required. Jesus is Lord. But it's available to anybody. You can't buy it. You can't steal it. You can't earn it. It's a free gift. A free gift of salvation. <coughs> anyway, buddy. Love you. Miss you. God loves you. Can't wait to see you soon, and I will post more tomorrow.